We are now talking to Oregon cornerback recruit Jalen Davis. What's going on, Jalen? Uh, nothing much. How are you? I'm good, man. A little tired. Long day. Uh, not too warm. Uh, not too humid today. It's one of those days today. Like you could say, it was San Diego weather here in Long Island, New York. So that's a good sign for us. But all in all, I've had an okay day. Dealing with some business is not too. F- I'm not too fond of some things that have gone on today. But I'm here. I'm happy, and we got you on the phone. So how are you and your family doing with this pandemic? Oh, they're doing pretty good. Everybody just going to work. Uh, kind of trying to get back to the other schedule get back to normal now are you are you going to school this year is Oregon open uh, I mean are you not doing zoom calls right now because obviously we don't know if there's going to be a football season this year are you doing zoom calls or uh, zoom videos uh, for your college professors are you going to Oregon uh, right now actually I have a semester left for modern day to like complete my credits then I leave in like December or January and so right now we started school for modern day today like our first online, and then we're supposed to go back like in person to school on the eighth. Oh, okay. So, so you are going back to school in Oregon? Uh, no, I'm going back to Modern Day for Modern Day. Semester. Okay, Modern Day. Because yeah. oh, so you're transferring to Oregon? Yeah, I have to finish a semester, right? Like at Modern Day to get the credits, and then I go to Oregon. Like, All right. So you're you're January. a transfer. You're not a recruit. Okay. So I got that now. So. Uh, when you talk about your position and, and the cornerback position, we were just talking about Xavier Howard and, and what Miami needs to do, uh, needed to do this offseason to better their defense. When you look at the cornerback position, and there's some tight, top corners that we've seen over the years that came out of college, Darrell Revis, Deion Sanders. What type of player are you as a corner? Are you a, are you a up in your face, you know, talking, talking like a Jalen Ramsey? Or are you a guy that kind of keeps your mouth shut? And plays the game hard, it's fast and and strong. What what type of corner are you? I kind of like talking. <laughs> it kind of makes it more fun. Like it kind of makes everybody kind of just try harder. And like I, like sometimes at corner, I like they don't really want to throw it as much to my side. So I, I kind of just start talking, mess with people, and then they start throwing a little bit more. So if I so if I talk to you and I I started to attack you at the line of scrimmage as a, a wide receiver and I'm telling you, you can't stop me you can't hold me you're, you're, you're weak you're too small I'm gonna push you around uh, I, I'm gonna get you in the middle of the field there's no way you're gonna stop me I'm I'm a speed demon what, what would you say to me if I was at the line of scrimmage telling you that I'm uh, probably well I'd say different things like pertaining to different people but it's usually something like you, you're, you're sorry or Already, you don't have any catches or something like that. <laughs> so, are you a person that actually studies the players that you play against? Do you you actually watch them so you know how to get into their heads? Because a lot of Jalen Ramsey is the king of getting into people's heads. That's what he does. That's what he's good at. We've talked to Devin Kirkwood, who is one of the top recruits in, 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 right now in football. Trash talker, <laughs> and he's another trash talker. A very nice kid, by the way. Yeah, um, I kind of play with De- I kind of play with Devin in seven on seven. I was with him yesterday, actually. Oh, really? I kind of oh, wow. told him, yeah. I kind of told him, like, I told him, like, we have to talk. Like, if we play in corner, if you just sit there quiet, they're going to think you're kind of, like, scared and soft. So talking, kind of, like, let them know. I, they really, when you break up a path, it just makes it even better. I, I like Devin. I, I thought Devin was a good kid, and he sound, he's a really smart kid. And, and you could tell he, he's got that it factor. Cause I think I can see him playing on that next level because of his it factor. He's, he's, he's smart, and he's educated. His mom's very educated. I was very impressed in the conversation I had. So before, before I, I get into you know your football and where do you see yourself in the future, when you were recruited, and, and obviously – you're not recruited. You're a transfer. How did Oregon reach out to Wait, you? A transfer. Well, I'm sorry. No, a tra- I'm graduating high school, but oh. like I'm graduating from modern day. Early. Okay. Like, oh, so you, I came to August. So the, you're school. graduating from high school. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so I'm about to, I started my senior year today. Uh, oh, congrats! Day. All right, so you so you are a recruit. You're not a transfer. You're a recruit. Yeah, recruit. There you go. Because I a modern day, I thought it was a college that you were talking yeah. about. So, uh, uh, no, all it was right, a high school. All right, so uh, okay, so you're a recruit. So how did Oregon recruit you? Did you, did they come into when they came into your house? When the coaches came into your house? And I'm sure you were recruited by a bunch of colleges, not just uh, Oregon. What was what was the it factor of the coaches and 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 really how did they present? the school to you that made you decide to go to Oregon? 
Uh, I know a couple of players that have gone there right now. Some live by me, and I play with some. I went to Margaret Day, and I've always liked Oregon, even when I was a little kid. So I just talked to the coaches. I, I heard their plan they presented, and I kind of liked it. And I've seen what they're building over there, and it's just something I wanted to be a part of. So you actually turned down uh, going to SEC schools. Alabama and Auburn both recruited you. And SEC, obviously known for great defensive players throughout college football. A lot of great players that go into the NFL as well. So, But again, you chose Oregon instead. So what was some of the biggest reasoning behind that? Especially, like I said, in a conference that is known for their defense. SEC defense is always talked about. Oh, definitely Coach Crystal Ball. He, he definitely was a big part of it at the end. He came and talked to me. And he just told me, like, he was recruiting SEC defensive players. Like, last year he picked up Baby Man. Then he has players like Kayvon. And, like, he's just getting players I can see I compete with SEC teams, like when we play Georgia and stuff like that. And it just really showed me. And then Coach Rod, I talked to him, and he, he tried to break down the film, like how I learned it, like how my coach teaches me at modern day. I uh, just seeing it was something I can learn from. As you guys know, we are talking to Oregon cornerback recruit Jalen Davies. Now, Jalen, the cornerback position is one of the most prestige positions in professional football. You talk about, and I'm not talking about J- Jamal Adams speaking about the safety position. I'm talking about the most important defensive positions are usually defensive end and cornerback. They get the paid the most. And it, 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 to me, if you have a shutdown corner, you could shut down one side of the field. So, what type of corner are you? Are you a shutdown corner? Are you a guy that you can maneuver? You could put him at. You could put him in the slot. You could defend the slot position. Are you? Are, are you a type? What type of player are you? If you were to pick a player right now in the NFL that you could compare your skills to, who would it be? All right now, uh, probably Richard Sherman, and David Ramsey. Because I kind of I I could play either outside or inside. I really just take the well, right now. I just take the number one receiver. And I just follow him like inside or outside. I'm really comfortable in both outside and slot. And then I kind of just think about plays before. Like, I know I can read concepts and pick up on some of the hints beforehand. And it kind of helps me. That trend with Richard Sherman, with Jalen Ramsey and several others, we see it a lot in the NFL. And I think the Seahawks really started is those bigger physical press corners that you're seeing, whether it's press zone, like what Sherman specialized in, or press man, which Ramsey specialized in, even though he's great at zone too. That trend has really been a big thing. Do you think it will continue, especially with wide receivers as a whole, getting bigger and more athletic as a whole as well? Oh, press man is probably one of my favorite right now, too. Just because more so like receivers getting smarter, quarterbacks getting better. Like they know where to put the ball in certain zones and stuff like that. So if you just take a man, it kind of just takes away everything. As you guys know, we are talking to Oregon cornerback recruit Jalen Davies. Now, Jalen, I, I've I've grown up, and as I was growing up playing football, I I studied guys like Darrell Revis, and Darrell Revis is one of those guys that he, they called uh, they called his own island Revis Island. Okay, so this is a guy that was very well respected before he was drafted by the New York Jets, and the Jets moved all, all the way up from fourteen to seven. When you look at the cornerback position, the speed of the game, you were talking about wide receivers. They're faster, stronger, bigger, bigger hands. They're more acrobatic. And, and, and you, you've seen Odell Beckham over the last couple of years, even though he doesn't shut his mouth. Um, the guy has made fantastic catches. Uh, even the gloves now that professional football players use, it, it's kind of it, like the ball sticks to your hands. Now, when, when you play the game, and the speed of the game, you're up at the line of scrimmage before the ball gets hiked to the quarterback. Uh, do you try to get up on the guy and try to pressure him, or do you give him a little bit more leeway where you can kind of stuff him or get, you know, try to intercept the ball in the open field? What type of, what type of player are you? I, I know you say you, you like to talk, and that, that's great, but I, I want to know what, what type of player you are on the field. Wait, do you give the players a little bit more room? Because Darrell Revis was more in your face at the line of scrimmage, he does. He he kind of pressured you up the line of scrimmage and throw you off your routes. Are you that type of wide receiver? I mean, a type of corner. Or are you a different type of corner? You like to give some leave, like a Richard Sherman, who likes to kind of sneak under the of the routes and try to take the ball away. I kind of base it really. I really just my DB coach right now. He kind of teaches me all of it. Like I swear, he taught me like to kind of base it off the down the distance and the receiver, like what kind of releases they do. 
give them different looks sometimes. Like, sometimes I'll start off, like, first to beginning of the game, pressed up all game, and it's face in the face. And then, like, I'll kind of just back off and, like, sit, like, come underneath some routes. Like, if he's giving me, like, a lot of releases, like, up the field, I kind of will stop him, like, at the line. But if he's just going, then I'll just go with him, get in his hip, and, like, turn back, try to make a play on the ball. It really depends on what he's doing, kind of, really, like, for me. I so, switch it. I use different techniques. So, so you know Devin. So why didn't you go to UCLA? I mean, you, Devin was happy over there. You could have played on the <laughs> other side of Devin. Both of you go to the NFL together, and and uh, there she blows. I mean, seriously, if you look at Chip Kelly, he he was the he really put Oregon football right on the map. And he left. He went to go coach in the NFL coached a couple of teams in the NFL, and then he came back and he went to UCLA. What I, I mean, Oregon's a great school, and, and we saw uh, Justin Herbert come, and he was in the top of the draft. What made you, and I, over the last couple of years, I, and I've, I've looked at some of the corners that came went to the NFL, there weren't big-name guys that came from that program as a corner. What made you really decide? I mean, because UCLA has been known for their cornerback positions. They're all different positions over the years. And I, I'm not saying you made the wrong decision because I'm, I'm sure you made the right decision. But what really pushed you to go to Oregon from going to play with your friend in UCLA? Uh, really, I've played with more people at Oregon than any other team. Oh, that uh, that's probably. why. I got I got you. I got you. <laughs> I, I kind of think, like, really, just my opinion, Oregon's probably the best team in the pack. Like, that can compete with, like, Georgia's and teams like that. That's kind of what I want to go Really? I, like, I, Rose Bowls and... You want to win You want to win a national title. I know what you want to do. Yeah. You want to win a national title. You want to go into the NFL, and it's everybody's dream. You're an athletic kid. I'm reading about you right now, and uh, everything that I've read about you over here, you're uh, a four-star recruit. So you're, you're a top-profile guy, just like Devin. Devin was a five-star recruit. Yeah. And you're a four-star recruit, so you're one of the most talented corners that were actually, you know, as a recruit that are going right now to play college football.